Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. Stocks were higher on Tuesday as Wall Street passed through another round of inflation data in search for clues on when the Federal Reserve could start easing monetary policy. The S&P 500 added 0.46%, while the Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 0.48%. The Nasdaq Composite advanced 0.7%. All three major indexes touched new intraday 50-week highs on Tuesday, with the S&P 500 hitting its highest intraday level since March of 2022. The tech-heavy Nasdaq and Dow touched their highest intraday level since April and January of last year, respectively. US consumer prices for the month were largely in line with expectations, with a 0.1% increase from the prior month and a 3.1% rise from the previous year, reaching 4% on a core basis after excluding energy and food. The report suggests ongoing inflation pressures, particularly in super core inflation, but it's uncertain whether it will significantly impact the Federal Reserve's policy decisions, reinforcing the expectation of elevated interest rates to control inflation. The report comes as investors try to end a strong year on a higher note. The Dow, S&P 500 and the Nasdaq Composite are all riding three-day winning streaks and have six consecutive weeks of gains. The S&P 500 also closed at its highest level since March 2022, while the 30 stock Dow settled at its highest point since January 2022. During the six-week run, the S&P 500 has surged more than 12%. Traders will now turn their attention to the Fed's policy announcement. Wall Street largely expects the central bank to hold rates steady. However, they will comb through Chair Jerome Powell's commentary for signals of when rate cuts could come. Shares of tech giant Oracle were down more than 12% after the company's revenue for the fiscal second quarter missed Wall Street expectations. Stock in retailer Macy's pulled back 8% following a downgrade to sell from Citibank on Tuesday. Turning to commodities, US crude oil prices fell by nearly 4% on Tuesday due to concerns among traders that rising inflation might delay, might delay the Federal Bank's interest rate adjustments. The West Texas Intermediate contract for January is down 3.8%, while the Brent contract for February settled down by 3.67%. Overall, most sectors closed higher overnight. Tech was the best performer, whilst real estate, utilities and energy all closed lower. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are flat. Thank you for listening.